blown fuse. And I just replaced this guy. And uh, when I turned it on, the breaker tripped. Just want to show you this unit real quick. You can see right here all these uh, boards here. This is the train chiller. It's got about, I think, there were nine or ten boards that uh, all went bad, fried completely. So, uh, train wanted roughly $16,000 to replace the boards. So, uh, kind of just redesigned the control panel a little bit. We got a free stat. Uh, this is uh, another stat that basically, it's just a pump down system that uh, controls the solenoid. It'll go to the differential switches and the flow switch, um, a couple other safeties um, involving water. Um, some time delays, relays, and uh, this Honeywell controller here will basically control the compressors individually. And uh, I gotta put in the face monitor, the current yeah. sensing switches, and then uh, basically we're up to par. But um, what I have noticed today, anyway, so to see why the fuse is uh, blowing, I uh, pretty much checked all the wires using the insulation tester here. The, Megometer, and uh, I found something here at the compressor. You can see there. I'm just gonna test this real quick. You can see I got 16. Typically, anything under 50 is bad. And uh, I'll go to the other terminal just to show you what I have here. Sixteen again. Now, if you go to the good compressor, well, I already took off. Let me take off the wires here one second. So, if we go to the to the good compressor, we uh, connect that on there. Let me connect this on here, and we'll do a reading to the round, which is right here, and we'll, you'll see the difference between this and the bad compressor. See that? 180, 194. So this one is pretty much, is gone. Take a look at it again. And this is a pretty good uh, megometer. It's not too bad. I think I paid like 180 for it, made by uh, Reed. There's the model number there. It works pretty good. I, I actually matched it to uh, my buddy's Fluke. I uh, don't remember the the model, but uh, they were pretty much pretty close. It's really no difference. I know that the Flukes are a lot better, obviously, but for the price, for what it is, it's a good, good unit. So there we go again. We got 16. So I'm just going to tape this up, pull the wire off the contactor, Turn it on just to make sure. But I did come here, I checked all the wires to ground to the conduit to see maybe one of the wires are bad, but I pretty much just went down the line, checked the contactors, check everything. And uh, that's the differente. I'll go back to this one again just to show you. Now I already tested this, I put all the wires back, but I just took I mean, I know the wires are good, but the best way to do it is take off the wires and go directly to the compressor and then just check each wire as well. Or you can do it together or whatever. You know, it's your preference, but I'm just showing you the right way to do it. Because I know someone here is going to say, oh, well, you didn't take off the wire. See that it was 190 on that one. So pretty much uh, this compressor is a cockadoodle. And, uh, let me just go back. Yeah, man, it's a train one. That's all the boards that were fried. $16,000 for these boards. And we know it's fried. We had a train guy come down here. They, originally, they had a train guy come down here and double check everything for the service call. Then uh, we came after. And uh, it's an easy setup, simple, no, nothing too fancy. But it does just close this back, turn the 
lights on. I got the unit on. This one uh, contactor, the wires are pulled off. The low voltage wires, so no signal will come in here. And uh, that one's we're tight. So let me button this up and we'll get this going and see what happens. Just to show you quickie here. Actually, that one's already. Alright guys, so this is set point 60, the bad compressor is set point 129. I'm just recording a video for Pat. So if you see that back pressure really high because water temperature is 129 same as your uh, let's say your house is 129 degrees your back pressure will uh, climb up pretty high but uh, I'm gonna tape those guys up Leave it running for now. This thing is supposed to get changed out eventually. Probably sometime this year. So that's why I uh, kind of did the simple setup here. You know, for them to spend 16 grand. And now they have a bad compressor. So <laughs> think about it. 16 grand plus this compressor. You know, that's about like 35, 40 grand just for that repair. Put a little bit more on, you get a whole brand new uh, unit. So... You know, it's, not, it's just not feasible to replace $15,000 of boards and another, you know, these compressors run for 10, 12 grand with installation. Uh, 15 ton compressors. Easy. Easy, easy. So. Again, uh, this, uh, Read um, megometer insulation tester, whatever they call it. It's a pretty good one for the price. I've, it has done me justice. I actually purchased it last summer and it's uh, been pretty good. I had no issues with it so far. Looking good with the amperage. So uh, I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit just to test it out. They're not using it now, but uh, we'll come back with another compressor. I'm gonna install a phase monitor and a current sensing switch. All right, guys. That, uh, back pressure dropped. We're at 80 now. So the head pressure, it's because our temperature dropped. Our water temperature now. Sixty-five. Lay down. Lay down. Good dog. Hey, sit. Sit. Give me a paw. Give me the other paw. Give me the other paw. Hey, where you going?